Welcome, everybody. My name is Mr. Reality, and I'm joined with 45 of our closest friends and psychic medium, Liz Cross. Good morning, Liz. Good morning. So we have a question about the CTT here, and uh, quite rightly so, putting it on the recording, that the, you know, CTT, we obviously use English language, but there's actually quite a few people that translate the script into their own language so as long as you translate it and literally into the same wording because that wording is water tight and remote viewing will teach you that that everything has to be water tight if it's not water tight the universe will let you know about that um just as long as it's water tight you're you should be good to go but yeah there's people that translate it into chinese into dutch um into urdu uh lots of different languages russian uh it, it's french it, so it doesn't surprise me um hi good morning how are you i'm doing great thank you a lot of rain in the night and uh, apparently we're on the edge of some kind of tropical storm depression so get your umbrellas out I know you texted me and wanted to work on releasing the need to have approval from toxic people in your life. And I think a lot of us can empathize with that sentiment because toxic people are all around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And and why do we why do we always try to get their approval? Isn't that strange? Right. Like worthy of well, I was talking the right exactly what why does their approval even matter they're so how can i say it politely self -absorbed, without swearing they're right. so <laughs> self-absorbed thank you i was going to use the um f-bomb on a monday morning but they're so screwed up and why is their approval why does it even matter but we do this on a constant basis right it's like we have to have that approval from people who are totally incapable of A, loving anyone else, B, loving themselves, and C, giving that approval. It's just strange that we do this. And I can think of times in my life uh, where I have done the same thing. I have sought approval from people that are just so unbelievably narcissistic toxic um selfish and and i think most of us can just like ronan said most of us can identify with that so is that a good topic for everybody this morning is everybody on board with that the chat indicates that it's a current resonant theme with people in the chat so yeah i would say great excellent all right well if you would uh, please explain to everybody the CTT and, and what we do, and then no, we'll get started. I would wish we numbered these. This would be a big number of CTT that we've all been together. So I do appreciate everybody being here. Uh, if you are new to CTT, uh, you can go back and listen to some of the archives, and you can always listen to those and tap along. It's important to do those throughout the week. This isn't the only solution to your consciousness evolution. So your arms are crossed in front of you, if you can, or crossed on your knees in front of you, and you're tapping and speaking aloud with me on in the middle of your shoulder and in the middle of your elbow in a cadence of one left, one right, one left, one right. And as you say these words, it's moving energy around in your soul, and you might feel uncomfortable saying these words, but we're doing this as a group and benefiting the people in the group here. So if you have other sentiments you want to express, you can do that aloud. Excellent. And just another little announcement. I should have told you guys this a long time ago. I actually have now trademarked the CTT. Okay. So anybody out there, you know, you can't just letting you all know, not saying you will, just anybody listening, you cannot label yourself as a CTT practitioner unless I approve you first. And the reason I had to to trademark the CTT was because that was what George Dewisman 
wanted me to do. He did not want many different versions of the CTT being split, splintered, watered down, you know, chaotic, not following protocol. So I had agreed with George to, on his deathbed, uh, to apply for that CTT uh, trademark. And I actually had to get a letter from George, submit it to the lawyers, which he signed, uh, that he handed that over to me because that's what he wanted. He did not want it to be watered down. It is a very powerful tool. But what happens is people will take it and, and then they'll, you know, and they'll, shortcut. yeah, they say shortcut it. There's yep. a, just an example. There's a lady on YouTube who, I don't know, she's talking about furry animals or whatever. And she's like, uh, there's a part of me that knows how to, and she just starts rattling off all this stuff and she's not even following any sort of protocol. Well, guess that does to the power of the ctt because i actually followed her on her video and the effect was minimal if at all so this is a tried and tested technique that george and i we went and did many ctt sessions to make sure that it was delivered in its purest form and so yeah so it's just that I just had to put that out there. The CTT is now trademarked. Okay, so let's get started. Um, for those of you who are listening, we want to make sure we open responsibly. Once you open, you do need to stay till the ending. Do not leave halfway through. Ronan and I are not responsible for the damage you cause to yourself if you leave halfway through the session without closing. All right, let's go. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. <laughs> Easily and joyfully manifest. Easily and joyfully manifest. An optimum etheric pyramid. An optimum etheric pyramid. As well as. As well as. An optimum Faraday cage. An optimum Faraday cage. For the empowerment and protection of each one of us. For the empowerment and protection of each one of us. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. Okay. Somebody just fired a question to me direct. Liz, tell me about the TLS thing. Okay. Just quickly, the TLS people, they're like a group of people that are fighting against the dark using frequency. So they're using their own energy they're working in groups and they're firing frequency at the dark energy centers, right? Let me tell you how dangerous this is, <laughs> okay? Don't do that. I've had two or three people come to me in the last probably month about these TLS, joining the TLS, from my own experience, this, this I have a friend. Yeah, it's like the light source or the light people or whatever. All right. So just so you know, uh, there was a group of people that I know personally that were doing this kind of work. They all got taken out in a week. Okay. That is a level of fighting against the dark that we're, we as human beings are not built for. That's like for the gods. Okay. 
that's for the higher, more powerful beings up there. They're firing frequencies into, you know, light frequency into the dark energy centers to try to stop the dark energy centers from affecting, you know, the universe. And uh, all four of those people became extremely ill within about a week. So I would just say anybody who's wanting to get involved in that stuff, I would leave it alone. We are not equipped to fight on that level. Okay, so that answers that question. Uh, the second part, treasures. Uh, there's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Easily and joyfully manifest. Easily and joyfully manifest. The ability to see. The ability to see. Optimally recognize. Optimally recognize. Use and enjoy. Use and enjoy. The treasures in and all around us. The treasures in and all around us. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. Okay, so, so somebody it, it just said... Sorry, somebody just said taken out, killed. No, but they ended up being very, very ill. Okay, so that's not a war you want to fight on. Uh, okay, and the last one, which is the most important thing, is uh, the activation of our spiritual helpers and divine teams. Now, even if you're at home doing your own tapping, this is something that you should open with. Then you do your affirmation tell ender. Then you get through your affirmation tell ender tapping around. A lot of times you get your negative messages coming through. You're then going to go into the let go and heal round. And as many times as you need to until all those negative messages are gone. And then... You're going to close, which you'll get the closing at the end. But that's the structure if you're doing um, manifestation through affirmation tail ender process. Uh, okay, so this is very important. This would definitely need to be one of your steps. And the reason is, those of you that have been here for a long time, you know this. I'm so glad you do. This is why I like for people to come to group. Because it's a process. It's a learning process. I'm still learning with you all. Uh, but you start to get used to doing this. And that way you have a hang on it. You're not just tapping, you know, as the magician's apprentice. Um, so you're going to use this activation to take away any and all dark energy that you remove. And then your spirit teams will uh, transmute it into white light energy. That's so important. Okay. Let's go. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. Easily and joyfully manifest. Easily and joyfully manifest. The optimum activation. The optimum activation. Of all of our spiritual helpers. Of all of our spiritual helpers. And divine teams. And divine team. They will take away any and all dark energy. They will take away any and all dark energy. They will remove it from they the earth plane. From the earth plane. They will heal it and take it into the spirit world. They will heal it and take it into the spirit world. Transmute it into white light positive karma back into the universe. Transmute it into white light positive karma back into the universe. The part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us and them now. 
that part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us and them now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. <laughs> it is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's all take a deep breath. And as we're breathing in, let's just send out some gratitude and love to our spiritual team. Because without them, this would be actually quite dangerous. <laughs> Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. All right. Let's go. Uh, so we're going to go for the optimum. Releasing what, how, the need to have approval from toxic people in our lives. That is perfect. The optimum. Can you type that in so I can see it, please? Let's see. Releasing the need to have approval from there oh no it didn't type i was typing and it didn't type uh releasing <laughs> the need to have approval from toxic people in our lives Okay, if I forget the words, Ron, and you did the fill-in. All right, let's go. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. Easily and joyfully manifest. Easily and joyfully manifest. The optimum releasing. The optimum releasing. And what was the rest? The need to have approval from toxic people in our lives. The need to have approval from toxic people in our lives. Oh, that feels good just saying it. Uh, that part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it, it is done. So be it, it is done. Oh, Lord. So the message I got coming in was, I'm ugly. <laughs> what a fine start to a Monday morning. U-G-L-Y, you ain't got no alibi. Okay. Um, what did you get, Ronan? Uh, just that there's a point that these people are drawing power from. And they're needing to pull you into that point because that's where they draw power from. So that toxicity, you're being drawn in their direction and not your own power. Okay. I got to ask spirit this question then. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is it the thing that toxic people actually need to be toxic to us, manipulate us and draw us in? on that level because they need to feed off our power that is correct wow one point for me <laughs> good job all right let's tap if those of you got anything in the tap please 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 make sure you drop it in the chat let's go there's a part of all of us that knows how to there's a part <clears throat> of all of us that knows how to let go and heal let go and heal I am ugly. <laughs> I'm ugly. I am worthless. I'm worthless. Only their opinion of me matters. <clears throat> Only their opinion of me matters. They destroyed my self-worth. They destroyed my self-worth. I have some, I don't know, need. I have this crazy need that I need them. 
I have this crazy need that I need them. And they are using me as a power source. And they are using me as a power source and a battery. And a battery. What else? I so allowed they're it taking to me off my own path. They're taking me off my own path. They don't want me to succeed. They do not want me to succeed. That's why they never offer approval. That's why they never offer approval. I keep being sucked back in. I keep being sucked back in. I allow them to control me. I allow them to control me. I allow them to dictate my life path. I allow them to dictate my life path. It's just toxic waste overspill into my life. It's just toxic waste overspill into my life. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with the limited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with a limited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing information for mission. Healing information permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. <laughs> so let's take a deep breath. <sighs> I'm feeling better already. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. I'm giggling because we, some of you already know this. We have a neighbor dog who loves to be at my house named Lena. She won't go home. She loves my three-year-old so much. And I just saw my, I went to school with her owner and I just saw my friend pull up and she's trying to get her in the car. And she's like, nope, I'm not going home. And she took off. <laughs> she loves being at my house. She loves because she's, She's young, so she loves that my three-year-old will play with her all day long. And it, it, it just cracks me up. Uh, but I do feel lighter uh, already. So what did you get, Ronan? I got that it's almost like we're in quicksand when that person mm. is pulling us into the quicksand. Excellent. And somebody actually put, I allowed them to determine my emotional state. That is fantastic because that's exactly what they do they're they're controlling our emotions they're controlling our uh feelings about any situation and what i also got was anytime i want to experience joy or a joyful occasion they come along and they steal my joy wow all right, let's go. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. Let go and heal. Let go and heal. We allow these people to steal our joy and happiness. We allow these people to steal our joy and happiness. They have complete control over us. They have complete control over us. I feel like I'm in quicksand. I feel like I'm in quicksand. They control our emotional state. They control our emotional state. It's like filling the holes of self-esteem with nails. It's like filling the holes of self-esteem with nails. Why do some toxic people only show up to be toxic? Why do some toxic people only show up to be toxic? They feed off of you. They feed off from me. They start arguments. They start arguments. And that is why they showed up in the first place. And that is why they showed up in the first place. They can't be toxic on their own. 
They can't be toxic on their own. They steal my energy. They steal my energy. But we love them. But we love them. And we can't break this bond. And we can't break this bond. What else? Anything else? No. Okay. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it, it is done. So be it, it is done. So I got... Why did we allow them in our lives in the first place? But, so there's a lot of self-blame there. However, with these people, they're master manipulators, right? So they know how to dominate and manipulate their, their way into your life. And then by the time you wake up and you realize what's going on, it's too late. You're already firmly emotionally attached. And so what happens is we keep trying to go back to how they made us feel in the first place, right? Well, well, they're capable of making us feel like that. What has changed? We blame ourselves for all of this situation, getting into it in the first place, not seeing it. And... It must be me because we know that they're capable of of making us feel good. That these types of people, they're just master manipulators. Uh, what did you get, Ronan? Same imagery, but I got it as meat mm -hmm. hooks, and they have multiple meat hooks that they yep. throw into you. So they're coming at you from more than one direction, more than one angle. It's not just a single point of pull that they have over you. It's like half a dozen or more. Exactly. Exactly. It's their meat hooks. And how many victims can they put on their meat hooks, right? This is not the first time that they've done this. They are masters at this. They've been doing this since they were kids. Okay. They learned very quickly that the way that they were going to get on in life is to observe the energy fields, observe people's response. This is why they're so clever. A lot of times these toxic people are highly intelligent. Why? Well, because they had to be. They're very observant and they, they know how to read people. They know where to look for these vulnerabilities. They know how to make you feel good. They want to rein you in as soon as possible because if you really know what they're like, you would never be there in the first place. But what happens is you always strive to go back to that feeling that they gave you in the first place. And you know that they're capable of that. So therefore you are constantly, that's, that's why you stay in the relationship or uh, you stay, you know, because you know, it can be something good. We just need to work harder. But at that point, the master manipulator has already turned. This is actually the true them coming out. So it doesn't matter how hard you work. It's never going to be good enough for them to go back to that state. And we're blaming ourselves for that. Does everybody understand that? A lot of times they mirror us as well. This is very narcissistic tendencies. The mirroring, they like us. They're attracted to us because they want to be just like us. So then they start mirroring our qualities because they're devoid of these qualities anyway. Single okay. 
and uh, yeah and so they they what they do is they think oh well this person right is going to make me great i'm going to be a, a much better person because i'm with them but what happens is when they're with this person okay they realize that the flaw is fundamentally within them so then they turn on that person okay and then you're you're left in the dark saying well what happened it was great it must be me i've done something wrong because they always blame you right so there's a lot of this self-blame and then we're looking for this approval from them to go back to the way it was how they made us feel in the beginning but that feeling in the beginning was totally false. That wasn't even a reality because they weren't capable of keeping up the, the facade. Does everybody understand that? It's very meta, but yes, I think they're picking up on it. Someone asked okay. how can we prevent ourselves or replenish our energy that they take from us. And I think that comes with breaking the ties first. You're never going to replenish that energy while the mm -hmm. meat hooks are still in. Right. And, and the other, the other problem is, well, you have to go no contact, but the, but the other problem also is, you know, now you're looking for their approval because you're so full of self blame. And, and this is why you need this approval from these toxic people. They're, they're the way that they treated you in the beginning is, is so false. They're not capable of keeping that up because they're not genuine. So you have to understand how you're, you're involved in these master manipulation tactic tactics. The other issue is even though you may offload that particular person or people, if you don't clear out your energy field and fix how you got into that situation in the first place, what happens is you usually end up with a similar situation, the same theme. However, you're not, uh, the, the scenarios are different, right? But the, it's all the same theme. So this is something that you draw in, in your energy field. And, and why you draw it in is because you have low self-esteem or self-blaming or self-hatred, whatever those feelings are. The way you rectify the situation is you have to do an energy exchange, right? So you have to take out those um, those bad negative energies that you feel about yourself, replace it with the self-love. And once you fortify yourself with self-love, then you can see these people coming a mile away, right? So that that's how we end up in those situations. And wow, that we got all that from the CTT session. Okay, see, that's why I love group work. We all learn. Um, okay, sorry, Ronan. What did you get? You got the meat hooks. Okay, let, let's let's tap on that. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Let go and heal. Let go and heal. We allow these people. We allow these people. To destroy our lives. To destroy our lives. It can never go back to the way it once was. It can never go back to the way that it once was. We blame ourselves for the deterioration. We blame ourselves for the deterioration. We are constantly looking to go back to the original feeling. We are constantly looking to go back to the original healing. The feeling was once there. The feeling was once there. Y you keep cutting out, Ronan. And now it's lost. And now it's lost. And we blame ourselves. And we blame ourselves. We caused this nightmare. We caused this nightmare. We believe their words. We believe their words. We have low self-esteem and low self-worth. We have low self-esteem and low self-worth. What else? We allow these paths to cross. We allow them. We allow these paths to cross. We get sick joy out of enabling someone else. 
we get sick joy out of enabling someone else. We we made a soul contract with these people. We have made a soul contract with these people. And we're stuck in a pit of confusion. We don't even know how to get out. And we are stuck in a pit of confusion that we don't even know how to get out or escape from. Escape from. We match their frequency. We match their frequency. Anything else? No. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now? That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it, it is done. So be it, it is done. I have a sharp pain at the back of my head. What did you get? Yeah, I just get that the connections are still there. They might not be meat hooks, but they're little needles. And so someone's throwing multiple, multiple attachments at you to make sure that you don't go away. Mm. And I like what you put here. Uh, blocking people with tech and medium phones, that's easy. But it's when they live in your space. The way you have to deal with it when they live in your space is you have to expand and elevate your consciousness and see this for what it is. Okay. Uh, over the weekend, I had uh, one lady who realized that her husband had been living a double life. And when it gets stripped back down to nothing, you have to get to a point of reality. Because living in the fantasy, being addicted to that first initial feeling, uh, chasing that feeling, right? And using all those negative uh, internal energies against yourself, you you just end up in this pit of confusion. So, you know, you have to strip it down and see things for what it is. Now, when you strip it back and you have a firm grasp on reality, then you start building a life for yourself. And it actually is very difficult to do. I've actually been there where I had to strip back all the re what I thought was reality, go back down into reality. And then, you know, trust me, it takes about two or three years. But when you build it back up, your own reality that you build for yourself is far more beautiful than this fantasy reality that you were living in. Okay, so um, so I got lack of motivation to change things, feeling like just trapped, unconditionally trapped, and confusion. And I'm sorry, Ronan, what did you get? Just that there's little points of power that they're throwing at you, it, like either barbs mm -hmm. or jabs or emotional comments that mm -hmm. are always designed to have you hooked. So even if it's not a large connection, they're always like multiple small connections they're dealing with. So just yeah. cut the cord and cut those ties and don't feed yeah. into it at all. But see, here, here's the problem. You're right. But the problem is when the other person tries to walk away, then they start breadcrumbing you. They start throwing you a little bit of like a few, few golden nuggets of affection or love or approval and you get hooked back in. These people are master manipulators. I cannot say it enough. So even when you start to pull away, they then try to rein you back in. They know when you're pulling away, right? So then they try to get you back in by telling you what you want to hear. As soon as you come back in, the toxic waste starts spilling over onto you again. So it's about 
being conscious enough to see how you are being manipulated by these people. They know exactly what they're doing. They've been doing this since childhood. You are, no, you are nothing. And uh, that that's what they do. That's why you have to, if you can, you have to go no contact, right? Uh, because if, if you stay there, they'll just keep doing this to you. They know what makes you tick. They know what, what to say. They know how to do it. And, and we're looking for approval from these people. These are sick people. Anybody who's willing to do this to someone, they're not right. Who, who does that? Who goes out into the world saying, who can I manipulate now? Right? That, that's really bad, you know, mental status. Okay, so let's, uh, let's keep tapping our way through this. Um, there's a part of all of us that knows how to. There's a part of all of us that knows how to let go and heal, let go and heal. We keep falling for their manipulation tactics. We keep falling for their manipulation tactics. The breadcrumbs that they throw at us taste so good. <laughs> the breadcrumbs that they throw at us taste so good. We are living on hopium and fantasy. We are living on hopium and fantasy. It will never go back to the way it was. It will never go back to the way it was. But we keep hoping that it will. But we keep hoping that it will. They are master manipulators. They are master manipulators. We cannot understand their techniques. We cannot understand their techniques. We constantly seek their approval. We constantly seek their approval. They play large parts in our lives. They play large parts in our lives. We are confused as to why we need them. We are confused as to why we need them. None of this makes any sense. None of this makes any sense. We are trapped unconditionally. We are trapped unconditionally. They have us right where they want us. They have us right where they want us. They can spill their toxic waste onto us at any time. <clears throat> they can spill their toxic waste onto us at any time. And we are left mopping up their mess. And we are left mopping up their mess. What else? We allow them to come into our lives in an effect to change them. We allow them to come into our lives thinking that we can fix them. We can change them. Their approval matters to us. Their approval matters to us. We think highly of these individuals. We think highly of these individuals. What else? I can't break this cycle. I can't break this cycle. I have completely lost my sense of self. I have completely lost my sense of self. My needs have become their needs. My needs have become their needs. I am disposable. I am disposable. Anything else? I need That's them what? to feel toxic with them. I need them. I need to be in this toxic situation with them. It's all I know. It's all I know. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are really to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. I tell you, it feels so good to offload all of this today. Oh, what a relief. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it, it is done. So be it, it is done. Oh my gosh, I feel wiped out. <laughs> Woo! 
we all have an element of us in this. You know, we could have bosses that are never satisfied. And yet, what are we doing? We're constantly like, please, please, you know, say I'm worthy. Oh, great one. Um, okay. What did you get? I got I got this whoosh coming out of the top of my head. I feel like Me a lot of negativity had been pulled away, like right from that crown chakra point. Yeah, I, I've got that as well. It's like whoosh. Yeah, I felt that. Did everybody else feel that? Yeah, they, they feel like their head's being tickled. It feels light. Oh, heart feels tickled. Head feels light. Great. Oh, and I've got your question and your pretty photograph, by the way. Uh, I saw your big smile is first thing I saw this morning. I was like, wow, I'm so lucky to see that that smile. Um, yeah, crown is buzzing. Excellent. Uh, they give us a sense of direction. Somebody says, uh, does anybody have any tight throats, tight chest? I still feel heaviness on my chest. Does anybody else feel that? I see that some people feel it, but I do not feel it. So it, it's still right. like a love yeah. connection that I think we're seeking yep. in that person. That's, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. It's, I need them. Actually, we don't. We don't need them at all. I can't stand on my own two feet and I need them. We don't need them. All right, let's let's tap on that. If there's any more emotions, just throw it in the comments. We'll get it out. All right, let's go. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Let go and heal. Let go and heal. I feel sick. I feel sick. I need them. I need them. I can't live without them. I cannot live without them. They make my life feel complete. They made my life feel complete. The extreme emotions helps fill the void. The extreme emotion helps fill the void. The highs and the lows. The highs and the lows. They keep me on my toes. They keep me on my toes. I have to chase after them. I have to chase after them. I think I can repair them. I think I can repair them. Life is hard. This will eventually work out for the best. Life is hard and this will eventually work out for the best. What else? My love I've for been... me is tied to them. My love for me is tied to them. I'm addicted to the drama. I'm addicted to the drama. I have picked up their negative traits. I've picked up their negative traits. I'm angry that I got myself in this situation. I'm angry that I got myself in this situation. I will prove everyone else wrong. I will prove everyone else wrong. I don't deserve anything better. I do not deserve anything better. Their approval matters to me. Their approval matters to me. That's where I belong. That's where I belong. What else? I give them a sense of purpose. Oh, 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 that's probably one of the best ones out there. I give them a sense of purpose. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, because if they didn't have us to be terrible to, you know, then they have to go find someone else. And they do. They do. I caused all of these problems. I caused all of these problems. And I deserve this. And I deserve this. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. That part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now. It's doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief now. 
And deep relief now. So let's take a deep breath. That was excellent, Ronan. Well done. Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. Thank you. Oh, God, that feels feel so like much better. It off my chest. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. We're at the closing point. Those of you that are doing the affirmation tellender process, you must include the closing in your process. Why, Liz? Well, because if you don't, you now have holes in your energy field and other dark energy because it moves faster than light energy. Uh, dark energy will come and get in those holes. So basically, it's like divorcing your husband and finding a new man. You trade in one set of problems for a new set of problems. <laughs> I'm sorry. Funny. That's I. Okay. Sorry. I'm not man bashing. I promise. It's just that's how it always is. I I find <laughs> I just find you just trade in one set of problems for a new set. All right. Let's close. There's a part of all of us that knows how to. There is a part of all of us that knows how to. Easily and joyfully manifest. Easily and joyfully manifest. Optimum guidance. Optimum guidance. Positive emotional fulfillment. Positive emotional fulfillment. Gratitude. Gratitude. Self-love. Self-love. And the ability to walk away. And the ability to walk away from these toxic people, from these toxic people in all of those wonderful spaces we just opened up in all of those wonderful spaces that we have just opened up that part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now that part of our beings are willing to inform the rest of us now it's doing so now with unlimited love, grace and ease. It is doing so now with a limited love, grace, and ease. Our minds, bodies, and spirits are receiving the love. Our minds, bodies, and spirit are receiving the love. Healing, information, permission. Healing, information, permission. And deep relief and joy now. And deep relief and joy now. So let's take a deep breath. I know. I promise I'm not man bashing. I just know I've been married 24 years. I just know. I know how this goes. <laughs> Information transfer is now complete. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. So be it. It is done. Yeah. We, we've we been together too long. It's too late to get divorced now. <laughs> That's what we always say. Yeah. we're We're in it for the long haul now. It's too late. We've, we've spent too much time together. We might as well just stay. Um, just kidding. Uh, okay. Well, thank you so much. Now, thank listen, you, Liz. Uh, and thank you, everyone here. I sincerely we, appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And we're going to hold for questions. Um, and I will explain the affirmation tail ender process when we hold for questions.